Hare Krishna. So my personal times with Srila Prabhupada started in San Francisco in 1967 when Srila Prabhupada came to San Francisco uh, and was in, brought before a very large audience of young people at the Avalon Ballroom in a concert that was organized by Sham Sundar primarily and also Mukunda and various devotees in San Francisco. So my first encounter was in that concert hall because I was attending to hear the music. But I did not realize at that time that there was an intermission. And during the intermission, Srila Prabhupada came into the concert hall. This was the first opportunity for me to have my own eyes rest upon the beautiful features of Srila Prabhupada. And what came to my mind immediately was the purity and the cleanliness and the beauty of Srila Prabhupada. I had seen pictures of him, I had been reading Back to Godhead magazines, but I had never imagined that someone could be in the world but so clearly not of this world. That was my first impression. Then uh, after several years I joined the temple uh, joined the temple in Detroit, Michigan, and my next personal encounter with Srila Prabhupada was in 1971, when Prabhupada came to Detroit for his first visit to Detroit. And uh, I was given the privilege to offer Srila Prabhupada the garland when he sat down in the Vyasasan the first time he came to the temple. And what I recall then was Srila Prabhupada glancing towards me and just saying the word Jai. And that vibration that came from Prabhupada, I felt it coming from the spiritual world. It was not a, it was a simple expression, just the word Jai, but it was so powerful. So that was my second impression with Srila Prabhupada. 